Hey, what's up? In this video, we want to solve this equation here. Uh, x squared minus 1, both squared minus 6x, you know, times x squared minus 1 plus 8 equals to 0. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to let uh, z, because we can use that for substitution, because it's looking a little bit, you know, if we, we can't expand it, it's going to be a little bit too much. So we will start by saying, by letting z equals be equal to x to the power 2 minus 1 okay and replace it in the equation replace it back in an equation so that's going to give us uh, z to the power 2 minus 6z plus 8 equals to 0 and now we will work out this equation by um, substitution by completing the square or whatever you want so this is going to give us we say it's z to the power 2 minus 6 z and let some space here for that so and here this is what we need to complete the square we're going to take this down take the half of it minus 6 we take the half of it okay it is minus 3 the half of it is minus 3 and square root it and bring it back into the equation so plus here this minus 3 to the power of 2 and we didn't have it in the equation before so we can you know cancel it out with another minus 3 to the power of 2 okay and then plus 8 and that's so equals to to 0 so we've completed the square now now what we got to do is that this here um, I mean this here from here to there it's a perfect square and we know what it is so we can write it down by saying it is here z minus 3 to the power of 2 that's what it is okay because it's here plus 9 okay and the remaining term would be this one here um, this is going to be minus 9 plus 8 and this is equal to to 0 so we can continue here let's say it's going to be uh, z minus 3 squared minus one equals to zero and we will add plus one on both sides plus one here and plus one there that's going to give us um, in this case uh, z minus three to the power of two equals to one we can square root it here we square root it we're going to have z minus three equals to plus minus one all right and then pass minus three to the other side then i give up z equals two so we can have two solution ones we're going to have uh, my, uh three bottom three minus one and the second solution will be z equals to three plus one so we have in here therefore z equals to two and here z equals to Four. So that we found z, and we have to remember that at the beginning we replaced, you know, we proceed by substitution. So we're going to replace z with its value here, and then found the value. I mean, the the value of x. So we will say for for z equals two. That's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to have two there, two here, equals to x to the power of two minus one. And we pass minus one to the other side it means that we're going to have here three equals to the square root of two and we square root it that means we're going to have here x equals to plus minus the square root of three which is equal to plus minus one seven one point seven three or something like that okay and now for for the second one for uh z equals to four we will have 4 equals to x to the power of 2 minus 1 and we passed minus 1 to the other side here that's give us 5 equals to the square root of 2 this means that x when we square root it here will be equals equal to the square root of a plus minus of course when we square root plus minus square root of 5 which is 220 something plus minus 2.2 I don't know 3 or something like that okay these are the solution to our equation here got this one here and do so there are four of them 
so I can write solution to our equation the solution to our equation are the solutions to to the equation to the equation R we get here um, x equals to minus uh, 2.23 x equals to minus 173 x equals to um, 173 1.73 and and x equals to 2.23 so those are our solution to the equation okay so thank you for watching again uh this has been the equation we'll be doing here and see you later bye bye